One of the things like nowadays that I really want to build in the community is the relationship between the law and the community that they protect and serve. And that's part of the reason I even do what I do in my foundation, to reach out to a lot of youth. I think education plays a huge part in helping people achieve their dreams. You have the power to impact this entire world by starting first in your household, in your community. If you take action, you can make change. And how long have you been doing this? For 19 years. 19 years, wow, that's, that's amazing. I went on my first ride along. You know, it was kind of a, a shock to me. There was a young kid who was probably 10 or 11 years old, said hey, said what's up to him, went to engage, and he was about to say hey and shake my hand and stuff, and his parents, their first reaction was to tell him to get away from me, which contradicts what law is for. People just think you just get in a, a cop car and you just patrol the streets, but a lot goes into doing this job. Well, I started my foundation in 2013 while playing here in Chicago and finding out how the incarceration rate is directly related to the dropout rate in high schools. It kind of sparked a passion in my heart to impact that. As the police, we try to get involved with the community, get them to understand where we're coming from, and we try to understand where they're coming from. We as Chicago police sworn an oath to protect and serve the citizens. And at the end of the day, you know, I take the citizen as like our client. We want them to leave knowing that, hey, we're with you and we have your back. You can call us and we'll be there for you. This is considered beat 611, mm -hmm. and this is actually the area that I grew up in. If the, you know, police officers are out in the community, like, like here in the 6th District, and they mesh with the community, the young kids, they, they get to know the police officers and know the law enforcement. It's not that type of, I'm here and you're here type of thing. It's, it's we're all working together. Because the community wants to see us. They want to know that the police are out here, that they're patrolling their streets, and that people feel safe. I had the idea of raising money through uh, the What's Your Forte Foundation for kids that are in underserved communities where they can be able to go to a university or a college or even a trade school. My main goal and mission is to uh, change lives through the way of education. The programs like After School Matters that they're doing here at the 6th District is amazing to me because they get all these kids to come here to a police department. The reason we started was because of all of the negative things that was going on with the police and the community, and especially the youth. So we said, if we do this program, they can come in and interact with the police. They learn firsthand. We have to um, let the youth know that we are still here for you. Uh, and they get to see that, you know, the police district where I'm at, hey, the police are OK. Yes, I just wanted to have a, find a different way to interact with other people, stay out of streets. It's important to have these type of programs available because if you look around, I've been around the south side and the west side in these neighborhoods, there's not a lot of opportunities and, and venues for these kids to go to. When Matt comes in, it's awesome to have him involved because that lets them know this is a person just like me, and if they can do it, I can do it. Everybody's not in, in, involved in sports or like sports, so we're trying to develop what you want to do, what's your forte. Forte means like what you, your expertise. So like if you like art, you know, we try to develop that and push you towards it. It's always fun when you when you have a lot of kids in a, in a room and you're speaking to them, just to kind of be, you know, have a real talk with them about life and inspire them to drive to be better every day. The better your education is, the more knowledge you gain, the better decisions you guys will make when it comes down to it. Uh, life really comes down to making decisions. Through my foundation, they can make those good decisions and even give back to their own community. The youth had such a great time and they saw the human side of policing, you know, just opens up that dialogue where then the youth can start asking questions about, hey, what about this, what about that? And that interaction is positive. We all need uh, guidance and, and wisdom from something. So if I can use the, the platform of the NFL to be able to do that and provide that to a lot of kids that don't have that, that's, you know, I think it's impacting our communities in a positive way. On the south side of Chicago, we don't get a lot of exposure for our youth. This is awesome, the kids love it. Volunteering your time is so important because in our hustle and bustle of an everyday, busy day, you know, we don't think about the small things and it's not just a monetary need. The youth need to actually have that physical presence of 
the adults, giving them that attention, talking to them, mentoring them. I want there to be more people who are selfless. If we can figure out how to do that and care more about each other, it'll be kind of like a ripple effect in the community, I think.